Good afternoon, everybody. It's like March 2nd or something here. As you can tell, this road blew over because that's the field. Um, we're up at the North Farm, and we're just currently following a traco into our yard here. And you might be asking yourself, well, what the heck are you doing with the traco, Mike? Well, we're going to dig a dugout. That's true. Yeah, we're going to dig a dugout. There'll be more information on that here in about a few minutes. See here, we'll just kind of watch this guy go into the yard. There we go. There we go. I do believe uh, we got Arden here, the name of the operator, and uh, he's running a uh, John Deere. 35 ton machine so yeah we're gonna wait and he's gonna offload this puppy and then we're gonna go and uh, see if we can't play in some frozen dirt all right So the bucket that he currently has on there with the thumb, that's pretty much his clean out bucket. It's got a serrated edge as you can clearly see. And he's gonna scoop up his, uh, oh right there, the thumb, handy dandy. That's his digging bucket with the big teeth. Hopefully that way he can bust through some frost. we come it's minus 20 out here so it's pretty cold on my fingers so hold on I'm gonna try and move some stuff around here right over his tires don't worry it's not hard on him He uh, has his bucket out over here, so that way uh, he can uh, ease down his crack over here. That way he doesn't just drop right off. There you go, now he's gonna pick up his hole. Bingo, just like that. Beauty. He's gonna actually uh, switch buckets here. He's gonna put his digging bucket on and he does have a, a frost ripper if need be. We'll take a peek at that. Right there is his frost ripper, right on the trailer. I'm gonna see that I'll zoom in here. It's basically a great big spike. Well, I guess I can, I can watch that. Look at that, there you go. Beauty. Awesome. And here he comes with it. So he put his digging bucket on there as you can see. And he's carrying his frost ripper. So down in here to the north of our yard there's a slough. You can see the willows right there. And uh, we want to dig a dugout. Because uh, water is low this year or was last year. And uh, if you're going to dig one, you want to dig one before all this snow melts and it fills the slough. Well, Mike, if it's just going to fill the slough, why don't you just use the slough? Because it's not going to fill the slough that much. It's way easier to dig into a dry slough 
than it would be into a muddy sewer with water in it in the future. So the question is going to be, how much frost is here? So frost can vary a lot. We, we do freeze, our frost line is eight feet up here. Um, but if you drive on it, if there was no snow where it was bare and you happen to be driving on it, like even roads, uh, you can push the frost down because that will actually push your frost down. Uh, it's not uncommon to have frost go down to 10 feet deep. So for example, underneath this snow bank, it's probably actually not froze that deep. Maybe only maybe three feet because the snow acts as an insulation. Down here, you can see the bottom of the slough. Not much snow. There could be five feet of snow or five feet of frost. So we're gonna have to square this thing out. It's probably gonna be something like 60 feet wide by maybe 100 feet long or 80 feet long. It's all gonna completely depend on how well this thing's gonna dig, okay? So I'm gonna help him square this thing with the tape measure. And uh, no, we're actually not putting the stakes in the ground, they're just in the snow. Yes, we did do locates. Very good question. Do you have to call for locates? Make sure there's no power, energy, telephone, or anything under here. That's true, that has already been done. And there is nothing in this area, so we are good to go. So obviously the slough is way bigger than the dugout. Normally I'm slightly OCD as you know, I would like to put the dugout right in the middle of the slough. But I want to be able to use this for spraying and other things. So closer to up here the better because this is as close as I'm going to be able to get the semi. I can't drive down the slough with a semi. So I'm actually going to offset the dugout in the slough. So uh, that way I can get it closer so I don't have to draw for uh, water for quite the distance. All right, so you see we got one stake right here. Then we got another stake out where he is right now. Then there's another stake right out over here. See if we can see that. Maybe I can't zoom in. No, I can't zoom in. Um, then we got one more stake right up over here. And then what he's doing is with this pink paint, he's just kind of making a 50% mark, the halfway between the two stakes. And the reason why he's doing that is because that's how he has to dig it. Um, he only has so much reach with the trackle, so he's going to dig this part, and then he's going to throw the dirt, and then once he dugs this hole, he's going to come back around this side, and he's going to dig this part. So again, the reason why the dugout is going to be up here, uh, and not right down in the bottom, is just due to I need as close as possible for access with my semi-trailers. Um, but we want to make sure that at least a small part of the dugout down here is in the lower part of the slough, so that way it will always stay full kind of counterproductive to put your dugout up on top of a hill <laughs> so Arden has uh, made some painted marks here this is the edge of our dugout and uh, we're gonna see how this is gonna go going game time so like I said, it is minus 20 outside. Actually, it might have warmed up to minus 15, but it was definitely minus 20 this morning. Um, in theory, maybe it probably would have been best to dig this in the fall when the ground wasn't froze because it's gonna cost a lot more because it's gonna take a lot longer time to bust through the frost. But unfortunately, that just wasn't in the cards, so you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. We're wintering Canada just about six months of the year, so you can't just wait for warm times to do everything. That includes working outside, dugouts, working on equipment, whatever it might be. to throw the dirt all on one side because I could really use that dirt for the yard as I'm not done my landscaping. So we're gonna try and save the dirt and get it so I can get to it. 
Here we go. Game time now. So what we're trying to do is we're just we're just trying to dig a big hole, really. Once you can get under the frost, once you know how deep that frost goes, then it's way easier because then you can get underneath it and kind of pull up on it and bust it open. The trick is is just to keep digging to get under it. Now, uh, yes. Uh, we do have a hole. It's a good question. Mike. I thought you guys had your own hole. Why don't you just use that? Um, we have a uh, 29 ton hole. But uh, right now, Brian is the operator and uh, he's quite busy and tied up. Yeah, you can easily pull your uh, pull yourself in the hole when you're sitting on ice and snow. Okay, so we're pretty much through the frost already. It can't be that deep. My guess is about uh, four or five feet down there. Right down there, he's already punched through it. So then he just tries to hook it. He's hooked that frost line and he's just trying to bust it off. And that is what he's going to do for the next day or so. See, he's going, it's digging nice, hooks it. Hook that frost line, pull it on it, pull it on it, pull it on it, pull it on it, pull it, there. Bust it loose, just like that. And that, guys, is how we're gonna try and do this. Pretty happy that uh, that frost isn't that deep. So just as a little uh, summary here, there's the halfway line of the hole. He's wanting to stay on this side of it. He's gonna dig all the way up to that stake right there. And he's gonna throw all of his dirt on that side. The reason why is because I want that dirt, okay? Then we're gonna look at getting uh, maybe a cat to come in and uh, push the dirt all the way up into the field where I can get access to it. Because this has the potential to be uh, wet and muddy when I want to get this dirt. We're gonna let him do some digging and uh, I see that I have a fuel truck here so uh, I need to get up there and uh, we'll come back and check this out in a little bit. All right guys you guys have yourself a good one and adios amigos. Yeah all right we're back so uh, it's been a few hours now um, there's the big frozen pile you can tell we're working on it here so this part of it that was under the snow actually like like when we left was digging pretty good uh, but you can see that this half of it that was bare, he actually had to hook up his frost pick and he had to rip the whole thing. So we, he ripped it all the way over to those far stakes way over there. You see that? Uh, and he's ripped it, well obviously as deep as that will go. 
and uh, now he thinks he can get under it with his bucket. So he's going to go, and he's actually digging his way out of this snowbank because I almost got my tractor stuck. Almost, almost. And then hopefully he can start getting under here and start getting this pile out of here. So that's the plan. And then tomorrow is going to be another whole day yet again. It's going to be really interesting to see how all this transpires. We are going to get a cat to come in to push this dirt. No, I'm not going to use my loader on my tractor. It's, they aren't designed for that. And that's a really good way of wrecking stuff. So, all right, guys. I'm going to let you go. You guys have yourself an awesome one. Adios, amigos.